This is a 619 nerd. Ahem! Ahem! Sorry. I had something in my throat. Um, This is a 619 nerd log. I had oatmeal for breakfast. And I'm probably going to eat it. The rest of it for dinner. Anyways. <laughs> this is uh, episode 8 of Gotham. Um, called The Mask. And it's basically Fight Club. In Gotham. So, after what happened last week, um, with nobody would help him, other than Bullock, even the captain wouldn't help him, um, he goes, going back to work, and they find his body all in a, not all, yet spenders and dress up shirt, um, found dead with something lodged in his, uh, neck, um, with black ink, which was toner, all from the office space. So, and then a guy's thumb was in his mouth still. Ill, by the way. Um, so they investigated, and very quickly they found out where where to look. Um, they looked at all the doctors. Um, and then they went to the black market doctor, and then when he lied, uh, Gordon arrested him, and Bullock is trying to, hey, be cool, it's the way it works, um, and other officers, uh, kept whining, but he said, nope, I'm not gonna do this, we're gonna do it right way, because yeah, he was caught in a lie, but they did find its card of a business. Um, financier, I think it is, something like that. Um, and how they, how they get the job is they have to fight. But, um, not to the death, but it's basically Fight Club. Um, um, uh, Barbara's freaking out and started pointing the gun at Gordon as he's coming in. Uh, which yeah, I can see. And then, but she was drinking heavily. Um, I mean, she said that. Next day, she's playing it off fine, fine. So, um, they meet this fan out here. And he has all these, um, Japanese art. Uh, he had guns. He had, a uh, uh, samurai sword, mask. And why this is happening... Bruce Wayne goes to school. Uh, I believe it's a private school, so um, they all had like little suits they have to wear. Don't know originality, but he meets one of his uh, schoolmates, Tommy, who we all know it can become the Black Mask later on. Um, he was a dick now. Um, he's talking smack about his mom, so basically, uh, Bruce slapped him, and then he got his ass kicked. Um, so all in all, <laughs> Alfred takes him to, uh, uh, Tommy's, uh, house, and then, BOOSH! Bruce decks him and beat the crap out of him, <laughs> and uh, Alfred said, yeah, I knew it was gonna happen, and I let it. And then he asked uh, 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 Bruce what kind of dinner he wanted. Pizza. Pizza. Good. Uh, good choice, Master Bruce. And then um, Bruce asked him, could you teach him how to fight? Yes. Yes, I can. Um, we do see a uh, cat. She gets caught after, I don't know what kind of time period this is, but first we're being lifted. Um... She even bypassed the security. Um, but she did get caught by the police. Um, uh, let's see. Um, uh, Fish Mooney uh, wanted something from the boss, bo Don. Um, she even ha met with Penguin, and they're supposed to play nicey nice. She literally stabs him with their gift. Uh, it looked like uh, the pen from 
Hunger Games. She stabs him, and they play nice. And then uh, Penguin kidnaps um, the guy who took over for Penguin. He beat him up. She he kind of confessed. Uh, yeah, there's somebody. He t tells him about the girl. Chase Mooney gets the girl to steal something from a ledger. Last two pages. Because uh, she gave him something to knock him out. She wanted out, but um, she was also concerned for him. But Fish Mooney told him a story about um, how her mother was a turn tricks and one of his men um, killed her. And she stayed there until morning, not moving, not making a sound. Um, very chilling story, but Rudy D, who's a fabulous actress and a singer, was uh, singing and she heard all that and I don't know, it, she could be her mom. <laughs> she made up that story. It looked like she made up that story to get the girl to stay on with uh, Falcone, who still just makes her clean, uh, uh, cook, and sing, sing to him. But from last episode, we already... Well, actually, he doesn't know about her. But the penguin knows about her now. So, this could blow up in uh, Fish Mooney's face. Um, not a... Oh, and then at the end, she, uh, Barbara calls him. And she kind of just hung it up while she was saying, I love you. She writes a note and she leaves. Why can't you do that the last episode, you dumbass? <sighs> hey. Where is she? Tell me this. Is she bipolar? Is she that stupid? Uh, and then, um, Bullock makes a rallying cry to get, to find, uh, Gordon, who went to, they had, had all these warehouses, they had to check out, and they couldn't find him, so Bullock panicked and tried to get everybody helped him. He does a cool, now, the thing is, my thing would go out, I don't know what was going on, it would go blank or freeze, I DVD'd it, and I watched it last night, so I missed most of the Rowling Cry speech, he called him an asshat. Which he, uh, Gordon said, you call me an asshat? Yeah, yeah, I did. But the first one, and throughout the whole episode, the captain said, I should have stayed. No. But she rectified that by uh, grabbing some, and then others grabbed some. So, and then it cut out again. But, uh, yeah, the fans here, or whatever he is, um, was going to pay, pay, there's three of them in the cage, they're going to fight Gordon, and whoever kills him gets like a million dollars and becomes a winner, so that happened, and Gordon fought him off, and even the fans here, or whatever, um, saw the dark side, how much he was a fighter, and even at the end, when the, he comes out in the blast mask with the samurai sword, Gordon could have could have killed him, but he didn't. Because he knows that would be wrong. And there was like a whole bunch of people watching him on a camera feed. So he didn't. But he... Overall, a good episode. Not as good as the last two, but... I recommend it. I hope you enjoyed these reviews. I like doing them. And I still have two flashes to do this week. Plus Walking Dead and Arrow. So, and I, I'm not sure if I can do it tomorrow. We'll see. You never know. And I do have a package I'm waiting for. So much stuff to do. So little time. This is Jesse Green D. 6199.